AITA for teaching kids basic life skills, giving them food? I. 40F. Am currently not working due to an extremely mismanaged labor a little over a year ago that left me unable to stand for extended periods and I had difficulty walking. As a result I've been at home a lot more than I usually am. I usually lecture at a local university. My partner and I own a five-acre section on the outskirts of a town. There are two buildings on the property. Our two-bedroom home and a eight-bedroom former B&B that we run as a very cheap rental. More because the rental market here sucks and we wanted to help out. Than because we need the money. The house is usually mostly rented by teens, young adults who have been placed here by a local council agency that supports young who have mental, physical disabilities or mental health issues. This started a few years back because my partner, a semi-retired professor, researcher, drive, offered to set up a free counseling program for these kids. They found out about the house and it went from there. Depending on the size of the room each room rents for $30 to $60 New Zealand dollars per week including bills which makes it significantly cheaper than most rentals in the area. About one-third to one-half the usual rent. During lockdown last year I was struggling to keep the house garden maintained as well as look after the baby and recover. A couple of the kids here noticed and offered to help out until I was better and we came to an agreement where essentially they would do the housework, gardening in exchange for free meals that I'd make for them. I quickly realized that they didn't actually know how to do these things after out laundry got flooded twice, etc. So this ended up getting turned into a life skills 101 class essentially where I taught them how to repair clothes, get stains out, clean etc. and over time also ended up including guidance on how to sit interviews, how to write a CV, how to find a job, play an instrument, cook a variety of meals, etc. I enjoyed it because it made me feel like I wasn't just sitting around doing nothing and they enjoyed not having to buy their own food rolling on the floor laughing most of the kids in the house got involved over time. Over Xmas a couple of them moved out as they'd found jobs and wanted to live closer to them. One of the new kids that moved in was a girl with DS. She was very passionate about my garden so I taught her her about all the different types of plant and how to look after them and helped her get a part-time job at a local plant nursery. The problem is that her mother has now come around and gone completely mental at me for trying to replace her, which wasn't my intention at all and now has me second-guessing the whole situation. AITA here? Edited to add as I've had some messages. We don't get to know the kids' personal information unless they tell us themselves. Privacy laws. But generally they end up with the council agency because their home life is unstable, unsafe or they are aging out of the foster care system. Most of them are between 15 to 21 and this service is supposed to help them prior to going on a WINZ benefit or similar with the obvious goal being to get them out of the welfare system but this isn't always possible. Just to be clear it isn't always the parents fault here. From what I've seen it's more often that the kids aren't coping with their home life and are lashing out at those around them making it unsafe to stay with their families. And to everyone messaging to ask why my partner wasn't helping me, he was. He's great don't worry lol. Unfortunately due to the virus situation last year our local GP clinic had many DRS relocated to the local hospital to cover staffing issues so my partner volunteered at the clinic so the locals could still be seen. NTA if her mother has taught her the skills in the first place she wouldn't need the life lessons. NTA. Mom sounds like she's carrying some guilt. It's great that you've been able to help her daughter find some independence. 
It's great that you're helping these kids. NTA you are incredibly selfless and it is actually a great that your work betters the life of so many. Keep up the good work. Try to take care of yourself and don't mind the criticism. NTA. In my opinion. The mother is just jealous that you are. Maybe. Connecting with her daughter better than she ever could. If I were in the mother's shoes. I would feel so happy to know that someone would be looking out for my daughter and helping her. Grow as a person. While a lot of people might start bad mouthing the mother. I just want to acknowledge that everyone is having their own battles that other people might not know or understand. As cliche as that sounds. She might be feeling guilty maybe there was something that was happening that day. Or maybe something triggered her that caused her to snap at you. Even though it was completely unwarranted. Maybe her daughter started to pull away from her and started seeing you as more of a maternal figure and that probably upset her. Perhaps her daughter is not involving her mother in her private life anymore. And the mother believes that it is your influence that is causing her to do that. It is very easy for her to put all the blame on you. Because she doesn't want to have an argument with her daughter and risk alienating her anymore. I don't know the dynamic between the mother and daughter. But maybe the mother didn't know about her passion for gardening or even her part-time job. And just seeing it in person might have been overwhelming for her. But that is no excuse to blow up on anyone. I'm sure a lot of these kids are very thankful for you helping and guiding them. So you shouldn't let this mother discourage you. NTA. You are mentoring. Not parenting. Yes. There's some overlap because they need it. Same as teachers providing some aspects of parenting. That doesn't mean you're trying to or succeeding in replacing anyone. As for the jobs. You're giving very low rent accommodation and they offered to help out. That's a mature agreement between young adults and you and you are teaching them life skills that. They will need. It sounds like a defensive reaction on the mom's part. Maybe with some guilt thrown in. You've done nothing wrong and a huge amount right. I'm so glad these young people have you and your husband for support. NTA. Not even close. You are being an amazing person and doing amazing things. Never change or second guess yourself. That girl's mom clearly has some of her own issues. Don't let her negativity get you down. NTA at all. I don't see how has the mother come to such a conclusion. You just helped her daughter with a job which she likes. If necessary. You could assure her that you have no such intention and you were just trying to help her daughter. She should be thank you instead. This title is priceless. NTA you're not replacing her mom. You're giving her opportunities to grow. NTA, I fail to see how teaching a young lady with DS how to garden is you trying to replace her. Mother. And where has the mom been before now? You keep doing you. You seem to love helping these kids out and I guarantee. They will always remember you. And be grateful to, Life Lessons 101. Quote. What? I would love to have had a teacher like that. Still do at times. I suck at gardening things. Laundry etc. No issue. What you describe sounds like an awesome setup beneficial to all who participate, yourself and the young people that learn things this way. Frankly. That, mother, sounds like someone who is either too controlling and doesn't, backquote t want her kid to move out. For fear of losing the control she has. Or some serious other problem. Not believing a kid like her would ever amount to anything, or something equally awful. Has this person ever sat down and calmly explained why she thought you were trying to replace her? Or was it instant banshee? If she has some valid reasons, maybe you can discuss and come to an understanding. But, please, 
Don, backquote t doubt if you, backquote redoing the right thing. Not everyone is specialist at everything, and I'd have loved for someone to teach me, plant stuff, when I was young. NTA. NTA on no world are you doing anything wrong. What you are doing is essentially teaching them skills that would be valuable to have if you were in your 20s and sadly not everyone learns at home. Especially the gardening bit. I'm sorry the mum was angry at you and I'm not going to say it's because she was a bad person or whatever because I don't know her. But it seems the girl both really enjoyed it and learned something from this experience which is the main thing. You are really helping these kids and you should be proud of what you are doing for them. Especially in your situation. Holy shit this is the definition of a validarian post. Hey guys. I'm a teacher and my partner is a doctor. We have a huluige property but we're super generous and rent super cheap to people in need. Also. I taught children how to be independent and functioning human beings. A mom is mad at me. AITA? Quote. You seriously think you could be an asshole for that? NTA you are doing a wonderful thing for those in need. NTA. It's a great idea. We'll done for thinking on your feet smiley face. Nah. I'm going to guess the mother is used to thinking of her daughter as some fragile thing in need of constant shelter and intensive care 24-7. DS often comes with heart issues as well so the daughter may have been through some serious things. I'm also wondering if the mother is just in shock realizing her preconceived idea about her child's limits have been blown out of the water. The unemployment rate for disabled adults is very high. She honestly might have never imagined a world where her daughter had her own apartment and a paying job. Her identity very well could be strongly tied to caring for her child and now she has no idea what to do because her child doesn't need her like she thought she would. I know it seems like an extreme reaction and completely out of line understand that this woman might have wrapped a huge part of her entire existence around every breath her daughter takes. If she keeps on tell her you are not trying to replace her you are simply sharing information as you would with anyone else who wanted to learn. You are treating her daughter as a fellow human not a disability. Wait so you're essentially asking, am I the asshole for being a saint? and helping kids with disabilities? Quote. Really? You really have to ask this? NTA. God fucking bless you for this work you're doing. Keep at it. NTA. As an occupational therapist I work very closely teaching young people with disabilities. Mental and physical. These types of life skills. Honestly. Your setup sounds like an absolute dream for me. I would love to be able to offer such a well rounded service. You are a gem. There's a saying about being the ripest, juiciest peach, and someone will still hate peaches, and I feel that applies here. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like share, and subscribe.